Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Bug nice coming at you with another daily update. So first and foremost, please go back, check out last night's episode, our midweek show. Episode 229 is live for your listening and viewing pleasure. Of course, we recapped Hasbro's first live stream of 2023, which was phenomenal. Hasbro really showed out. Want to discuss a few of those things in details here in this update. But again, go back, check out the episode. Two things that stuck out to me. Well, quite a few things stuck out to me from yesterday's live stream, but they did not mention the upcoming classic Luke Cage figure at all, which leads me to believe that that was something that they threw out there, maybe a little prematurely, just to give a nod to Black History Month, because everything else that they showed, they had in hand for the most part. Also, they did not mention the Spider-Man No Way Home Spider-Man Trio box set at all, although it was on display behind Ryan and Dwight the entire stream. Should be noted that today the Doc Ock and Aunt May 2-pack will go up for pre-order. Definitely something that I want to cop the opportunity to have an Aunt May figure and to just head swap with that particular base body buck. will make for some great displays. Looks like it's the Sharon Carter body that was in the 2-pack, I think, with uh, movie Captain America, if I'm not mistaken. Unfortunately, you won't be able to get that figure to sit. But again, it's an opportunity to own an Aunt May and to get the bendy wire tentacles for Doc Ock. In the midst of everything that was going on yesterday, kind of had a little happy sad. I thought I was going to get my G.I. Joe Classified series Serpentor, but it was a delay. So today it should be coming. Hopefully I'll have that in hand. And a few things to note in terms of other things that are shipping and pre-orders. We talked about this a bit last night, but the Mezco Toys 112 Collective Superman figure is about to charge tomorrow the 3rd. And then I'm hearing that 89 Keaton Batman is going to charge on the 5th. So look out for that if you have either one of those things ordered i'm really looking forward to superman myself i realized i had him ordered through mezco site as well as big bad toy store so maybe a one to rock one to stock situation for me and other pre-orders the beast boy build a figure wave from mcfarland is up for pre-order a link for that will be in the description below deadpool 2.0 from sh figure arts where you actually get some guns this time and holsters for the guns all of the things that we talked about two episodes back on the podcast that were revealed at like whatever the last sort of import show was. Was it One Fest? I'm not sure. But all of those things are up for pre-order as well. And this newly revealed Goku effects part set is up for pre-order too. Again, links for all of this stuff will be in the description below. Lunch break. I'm gonna swing by Forbidden Planet real quick and see if they got anything from this puff adder build a figure wave over there. Maybe I'll get lucky. We'll see. just get it from big bad toy store though i want to complete all of my Loki's across the multiverse, basically. So a few things from yesterday's live stream that piqued my interest and why. Classic first appearance, Iron Man. Looks phenomenal. Great articulation. You know we're going to have the inevitable release of this figure in the gold armor. And being that they are focusing on the 60th anniversary of the Avengers, I'm pretty sure we'll get a classic or at least classic versions of the very first Avengers team, which means they will repurpose that Hulk from the Hulk and Banner 2-pack. And I'm thinking that the HasLab is going to be Giant Man, Hank Pym, Wasp, Janet Van Dyme related. So I'm sure we'll see some more figures of Giant Man, Ant-Man, Wasp, etc. Probably another version of Captain America, a classic version, which means we'll probably also get a classic Bucky Barnes. But obviously the updated new Bucky cap on the Vulcan mold really piqued my interest. That was one of my favorite things that I saw along with Hawkeye. Because again, we are getting very close to completing a lot of the classic Avengers teams with the best versions of these characters so far from Marvel Legends as well. And that Black Widow killer. So as of recently, we got Extremist Armor Iron Man and Wonder Man in that Puff Adder Build-A-Figure wave. And with the addition of this Black Widow, we have a really nice version of the Mighty Avengers brewing here. I think we will get an updated Miss Marvel. Again, Avengers 60th anniversary. And it'd be really nice if they updated 
Aries at some point too. Should be noted that Paul Harding did the head sculpts for Tarantula, that Hulk, which again, I'm sure we'll see a green version of that Hulk to go with a classic Avengers and Spider-Woman or the Scroll Queen Spider-Woman. I did get some of the pricing information for this stuff and I revealed that information in yesterday's podcast. So go back and check that out. Rick brought to my attention that the uh, Super Adaptoid figure, well, Rick and my boy David Walton told me, but it's for sure the old 12 inch Captain America figure from Marvel Legends, which Rick told me that Bobby Valla worked on that line. I'm hoping that they do include some type of wing attachments for Super Adaptoid, but either way, that figure is going to be expensive. All right, I'm getting up out of here. Didn't score at Forbidden Planet, but overall, happy ending. Got my Serpentor going home to play with my toys. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell down there. And until next time, peace. I'm in the game. I'm grinding. I got to play 24 hours in the day, seven days out the week. I never sleep. I'm on my grizzly bear 52 weeks out the year. Yeah.